the first step of the calibration procedure for the 1176 is the Q bias adjustment. The Q bias adjustment adjusts R59 while it's in circuit. And this is just one of the trimming resistors that I pulled out um, you know, before it's been installed. And it's a, a Vichy or Vichy uh, 2K trimming resistor. And the instructions for calibration for R59 while it's in circuit is to set it so that the maximum amount of sing a signal is passing through. And to adjust R59, I'm going to show you which <coughs> excuse me which way to spin the uh, the adjustment on the top. So we're going to hook it up to the uh, the multimeter to measure the resistance. And you can see right now it's at 2K, which is kind of the maximum of where you want it to be. For the Vichy's, so you're hooking it up to one of the sides and the middle lead, okay, to measure that resistance. And you want to turn it so the resistance is the lowest possible, right? So that, in this case, it's turning it clockwise, okay? So I'm turning it clockwise, and you can see the resistance is going down, one 1.5k, 1.2. Okay, now it's down below 1,000. I'm gonna keep turning it, and now when it gets to around there, yeah, so it's it's flipped over. My I have an auto ranging meter here, and so I'm gonna turn it clockwise. Right, so this is it's around 100 ohms. There, I can feel it get tight. Yeah, it's 2.4 ohms. Don't twist it past where it gets tight. It shouldn't go much lower than than two ohms here. Anything past that, you're you risk breaking the inside of these of this particular type of uh, trimming resistor. So that being said, while it's in circuit, you're going to want to do the same thing. So R59 in circuit. Turn it all the way with the back here. You're turning it clockwise until it stops, until it gets tight. And you know that's gonna be about uh, two ohms. All right, let's move on to the calibration steps.